Okay, thank you for joining us for part two. So we just showed that two angles were equal and remember that if angle E can be in two different locations you have to use the three letters. So because we just showed that two, tri two angles are equal, that means that triangle BEA is similar to triangle CED you can get the right order of letters from up here. But remember, B has to correspond to C, E to E, and A to D. And the reason is angle-angle similarity. So now to solve for sides A and B. So if we want to write out our three ratios, so B, E goes with C, E. So BE is A, CE is 3. EA goes with ED, so that's 5 over 2, and BA goes with CD. So that's B over 1.5. So to solve for A, we're going to cross multiply this ratio with this ratio. So 3 times 5 is 15. A times 2 is 2A. Divide both sides by 2 you get A is 7.5. To solve for B, cross multiply this one with this one. 5 over 2 equals B over 1.5. Cross multiply, 5 times 1.5 is 7.5. 2 times B is 2B. And when you divide by 2, you get B is equal to 3.75. Alright, so that's what you do when your triangles have this X involved in them. You always want to remember that opposite corners correspond with each other. The last type of example is what we call nested triangles. That means that one triangle is inside the other triangle. So in this case, what I like to do is to draw them out separately. So this is triangle A, B, C, the smaller triangle. So this side is 3, this side is 4.5, and this side is A. Then the larger triangle would be A, D, E, A, D, E. So this side would be 3 plus 2, which is 5. This side is 10. And this side is 4.5 plus X. So, to prove that they are similar, once again, we don't know all the sides, so we're going to be using angle-angle similarity. That's the one you use most often, but not always. Now, because of the F pattern, you can see that these two angles are equal. So here's your F pattern. So you can say that angle D is equal to, now here's another problem, angle B, we don't know if angle B is this angle or if angle B is this angle. So again, that's when you need to use the three letters. Angle D is only one possibility. So to say angle B 
using this angle, we say A, B, C. And that's because of the F pattern. You could use the F pattern on this other side. That would be no problem, but just to show you something different. This angle A, because this is A, is the exact same thing as this angle here. So basically, they both have the same angle. So you can say that angle A is equal to angle A, and the reason for this one would be that they're shared. So if the two angles are the same because they're in the same location, you just say that they're shared. So therefore, triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE because of angle-angle similarity. So make sure your A's are in the same place. Your B corresponds with D, so they're in the same place. Now, to solve for sides A and X, let's write out our three ratios. So AB corresponds with AD, so that's 3 over 5. BC corresponds with DE, so A corresponds with 10, so that's equal to A over 10. And AC corresponds with AE, so 4.5 corresponds with 4.5 plus X. All right, so to solve for A, you're going to cross multiply these two. So 3 over 5 is equal to A over 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 5 times A is 5A. Divide both sides by 5. You get A equals 6. The next one's a little bit trickier to cross multiply. So you're going to now cross multiply 3 over 5 with 4.5 over 4.5 plus x. And that's where you need to use that distributive property when you cross multiply. That's why we went over that in the prerequisite skills. So 5 times 4.5 is 22.5 equals, and that's going to be equal to 5 times 4.5, sorry, 3 times 4.5 plus x. So you have to use brackets for that. Then distributive property. So then 22.5 is equal to 13.5 plus 3x. And if you divide 13.5 by from both sides, you get 9 equals 3x. And divide both sides by 3, so x is equal to 3. So what you're going to do now is try examples 1, 2, 3, and 4 on your own. Before you do, there's a couple of corrections to make, and I apologize for this. In example two, instead of solving for y and z, you're going to be solving for b and x. And in example three, instead of solving for y and z, you're going to be solving for y and x. All right, so press pause, try examples one, two, three, and four, and then come back to the video to check your answers after. Thank you. 
Okay, welcome back to the video. So, again, with question 1a, all you had to do was prove that two angles were similar. Uh, you could have done P and X, or Q and Y, or the other one is you could have done R and Z, and the reason for all of these was given. So don't forget, state what's equal, state why it's equal, your similarity statement, and your sufficiency condition. All four of those things must be showing. And there's the answers you get when you do your cross multiplying. For question two, most people when proving that they're similar, they'll use the Z patterns. So A equals E and B equals D. Remember, it's always opposite corners. So it's almost like the two triangles have been twisted. So A equals E, B equals D because of the Z pattern. Or if you wanted to say that the C angles were equal because of opposite angles, don't forget you need to use the three letters. And when you cross multiply, these are the answers you should get. If you get a fraction here in which you would have to round the decimal, you can leave your answer as a fraction in lowest terms. For example, three. Once again, when one triangle is inside the other, I suggest you draw them out separately. Most people will use the F pattern to say B and E, A and D, but don't forget that angle E, because it could be here or because it could be here, and same with angle D, you need to use the three letters. So you can state these two because of the F patterns, or you might have said C equaled C because of shared. And here's what you get when you cross multiply. Don't forget when solving for X, you had the distributive property that you had to use. Question four, the two angles that you were showing were equal, were these two angles. Again, because B could be here, B could be here, you had to use three letters. Those are given those are not opposite angles. A lot of people will say that these two are equal because of opposite angles, and they're not opposite angles. Opposite angles have to have intersecting lines, and then this one would equal to this one. This has a horizontal line with two lines coming out of it. And because you've been given those tick marks, those angles are equal just because they've been given to you. So just don't say opposite angles. And anything like a tree and a person or a post or anything like that, you can assume that they're vertical. So C is equal to A because they're both 90 degrees. There's your similarity statement and your sufficiency condition. And there's your cross multiplying work. All right, so if there's anything you didn't understand, please make note of it and ask your teacher. Otherwise, thank you very much.